it's Sandy. How are you today? I'm doing really good. I am. Uh, I got something in the mail today that made me very happy. <laughs> um, I don't know if you remember, for those of you that have been around for a little bit, for those of you that are new, um, I did something called the Conquerors Challenge. It's a virtual uh, program that kind of gets you up and moving and you can do you can walk you can bike you can do jumping jacks if you want to um, but it you log the exercise that you're doing and there's different types of challenges that you can do and it's different places all around the world and it's a really cool challenge and <clears throat> each challenge when you finished it, you get a medal, like a real honest God medal. And you can do like, I did the London challenge, the um, London channel challenge. That was the smallest challenge that they had. I think it was 21 miles or something. Um, and like, you can do huge challenges that are like 4,000, you know, it's like, it's crazy but it's to get you going and give you some purpose as to why you are exercising right so because you know when you exercise it's daunting and you're going i don't want to do this right at least that's the way i am <laughs> so with the conquerors challenge it gives you something at the end george did it with me he's already got his medal i showed that on another video and i got mine today <laughs> Here it is, guys. The Conqueror's Challenge. Should we open it up? I haven't opened it yet, so. I'll let you guys see first. Ah! <laughs> look at this. Oh, look. Oh, you guys. Oh. <laughs> Hang on, I gotta get it out of the thing here. Okay. Woo! So here it is. Oh, isn't it pretty? Look at that. And look at the back. Hey, Sandy, look, it's an octopus. <laughs> Sandy from Left is Right Crochet. Look! Isn't that awesome look at the tentacles coming around oh it's stunning oh you guys i tell you it makes it worth it it really does when you get something as beautiful as this at the end see and it says virtually anything is possible So I went searching and I found out that there's not only the Conqueror's Challenge. There are tons of websites that do this. And so now George and I are doing something called Pacer. And we're doing another small challenge. <sighs> And I'm almost finished. I think that one's also 21 miles. And I'm at 19. So, eek, I'm so excited. I can't wait to get that medal too. Um, so, yeah. So, if you're interested in anything like this, if you just want to get up and move and, and do stuff, um, the nice thing about the Pacer is that it has a GPS login for your phone. Right? Like it actually goes by the GPS on your phone and it tracks how many steps you do. Uh, and I was like, well, what if you're in a car? Apparently there's some technology that show that if you're going faster than a certain amount, then it knows that you're in a car. So, um, yeah, so it, it's really cool. Uh, anyways, I... I will leave that link down below as well if you want to get involved in that. 
I'll tell you, it does. It gets you go. It gets you moving because you put down a time limit of how long you think it's going to take you. And yeah, so I have 14 days to finish it. And I've got, and I'll tell you, the door dashing did wonders because it logged all the steps I did. And I did like 3000 steps a day uh, with that, which doesn't seem like a whole lot, but man, was I tired. <laughs> so, anyways, so that's good. Uh, so yeah, I'll leave those links down below. Okay. Next, uh, I've got a couple, I've got a whip and I've got an FO. Okay. What's the matter, Bailey? Bailey's looking for something. I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay. So I did, I, I started to, no, I'll start with this. Look at this guys. Isn't it pretty? I put a, a picture on my Instagram and Facebook page of um, me starting this project. It has oops, white sleeves and the cuffs match the sweater. Isn't it nice, you guys? I'll see if I can get a picture of me in it and post that or put that in here. Uh, this is my own, it's not a pattern. It's my own design. Um, and I'll tell you, I, and it's got my hair on it. <laughs> um, I absolutely love this yarn. I mean, I, I knew this yarn was soft, but I had no idea when I doubled it up that it was going to be this soft. Okay. What did I use? I used the Eco Brights. Okay. The white. Now, this is an extremely soft yarn. It really is. It's squishy and soft. I used two at the same time, so I doubled it up. It's even softer. Can you believe it? It's, um, I cannot say enough about this yarn. Um, so I'm really upset that they're already clearancing it out and it's going. I really hope they bring it back. I really do. Um, so I used that and I mixed it. I held one together with the Karen skinny cake. Okay. So I did, this is raspberry ganache. Okay. I just purchased these two a few days ago. I showed that in another video. So I held one strand of each together to get this a look. Isn't this gorgeous? I love this. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that was rude. <laughs> I was massaging her boob. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway. Um, yeah, so I'm really happy with the way, with the way this turned out. Uh, so I started another one. And let me know. If you guys want a tutorial on this, because I'm seriously thinking about doing ones because I'm, I'm totally a, addicted to this, uh, this pattern, whatever. Um, so I started, whoops, pulling out my stitches here. I started this one. Oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, I love this. Looks like a muted version of that. Loving, loving, loving this. Okay, so what I'm using for this one is, and when I wash this, it's going to poof out even more. I'm using the Karen Latte, and this is white. Actually, it's cream. I had some of these left over from, uh, from the winter. And then I just did a, a video on these um, on my last yarn haul video. These are the Cascade Yarns Cherub Aran print. Isn't that beautiful? And this color is... 
number 706. It does have a color name. I just can't for the life of me remember what it is. Yeah. So, but isn't that gorgeous? So again, I'm using one strand and one strand. And it's gorgeous. But like I say, it's kind of, it's because I'm working with it right now, it's kind of flattened. But when I wash it, it's going to puff right up. Oh, I'm so excited about this one. This one's lighter. Believe it or not, this is actually, it's a little bit lighter. So it's going to be a really good uh, evening, um, like a summer evening, fall evening, spring evening <laughs> um, kind of sweater. It's been really cold lately. I don't know why. I need to be out in the sun a little bit more, I think. So yeah, I that's what I'm doing right now, guys. Um, I think I'll show that on another video. Yeah. So that's it. That's it for me right now. I think, I think I started another project. I was making it into a blanket and then I stopped and started making it into a sweater and then realized after I got the two sides done that it is way too big. So, uh, uh, Okay, Bailey. Ugh, sorry. Bailey, come here. Come here. Oh, I guess daddy's home. Um, so, yeah, I stopped doing that, and I'm going to have to frog it. Oh, hang on. Sorry about that. Uh, she's been in a bit of a mood lately. I don't know why. <laughs> anyway, um, so, yeah, I'm going to end up frogging that back and then making it into a sweater anyway. I'm just going to have, or not a sweater, a blanket. Make it into a blanket. So, yeah. Not happy about that. Because that's going to be a bit of work getting that all dealt with. So, um, yeah. So, I guess that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for joining me. And, like, comment down below and tell me if you guys want a video tutorial for this. Uh I might do a written tutorial. Not sure. Not sure. It's It would take a lot of writing to be able to do that. So I would much rather do a video tutorial. And I know a lot of people, there's some people that don't like video tutorials. But, you know, I just don't have the patience anymore to do a written tutorial. Sorry. <laughs> so anyway, okay, I'm going to go. I love you all. Bye. Bye.